All right, so we're here with super fast Corey Alexander. <laughs> He's even fast when he walks. He's going to tell us about the Energica. Yeah, Energica, Energica, Energica. We hear, we hear it all all the time. <laughs> Wow! This thing really, really, really scoops. bike um, very high-end components got Brembo brakes all that kind of stuff retails 22 565 uh, 145 horsepower 144 foot pounds of torque so 100 how much torque 145 100, wow. 144 is what they advertise but, and is yeah. it pretty instant since it's electric uh, it is but it's instant uh, very smooth okay you know what I mean if, if you ever been like a Tesla or something like that it's just straight straight through all the way around same consistent very manageable okay. um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty unbelievable. It really kind of puts you back in your seat, uh, wow. so to speak, kind of thing. Uh, zero to 60 in three seconds. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, so. can't wait to, I can't wait to experience that. Yeah. Man. Yeah, it's a beautiful bike, too. It's uh, it's really cool. It's got some cool features. Um, Look at those rear sets. Right? Yeah. Yeah. How long will the battery last of, you know, spirited riding? Spirited riding, I mean, they say about 100 miles. Um, okay. I, I've ridden it myself. Um, to and from work, that kind of thing, and I, I get about 110, 115, you know what I mean, which, which is, which is, is good, honestly. I mean, we had the Alta brand, which was uh, more like a dirt bike, yeah. um, and they died in about 60, you know. So yeah. this is definitely an upgrade. Um, mm -hmm. It's got an oil cooled battery. The technology is a little more advanced than, than any other brand that's out there. Yeah. Um, the other big thing is they use a car charging system. So um, I, I'll grab you the key and I'll, I'll show you what, what that looks like, but it essentially uses the same port that like a Chevy Volt yeah. uses. So oh, cool. they're all around, people don't realize they it, but they're, I mean, your grocery like store has one, the mall has one. So yeah. this will charge in like 30 minutes on one of those chargers. That was my next question, is how long would it yeah, take to charge? Yeah, so it charges, charges super quickly. Not and uh, so, you know, keeping that in mind, it's not that big of a deal if you got to stop. If you only have 50%, you know, battery left, you, you can stop for 10 minutes and be back to full charge, yes. you know what I mean? So. Um, that kind of really opens up your, your usability of the bike again, whereas you're not sitting around for three hours after you just rode it for 100 miles. It, right. it really re reloads pretty quick. charging port so you can charge this like I said on on a on a large car charger um, or you can just plug it into your wall outlet and let it charge for, for a few hours obviously that takes a little bit longer but uh, right down the road we have a plaza here that has the, the, the car uh, EV outlet you just literally plug it in and we bring them down there for 10 minutes and then bring them back up to life so yeah really easy today are we going to be riding it on a full charge this is full charge, yeah, 99% right now, so. <laughs> I just noticed all the carbon fiber on this thing. Carbon stock. everywhere, yeah, this is stock. You can build out the trims, so you can kind of do different components if you want to have Olin suspension instead of the right? Batuba. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can do that. I mean, they're, they're pretty, this is like one of the two color schemes that they come in from the factory, or you can order it to whatever you want. If you want it to be blue or pink or whatever floats your boat, you can, <laughs> you can, you can get that, so, yeah. Pretty freaking cool, man. So before we ride these bikes, we have to put them on the intercom wireless scales to see how much they weigh. First, let's start with the BMW S1000 RM. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You should have them sitting on your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Mini me. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing powered on. Get the total weight. Give it a second. And. 400. Oh, you made me do it. You know I'm about to say, I turned the rest. 420 pounds for the BMW S1000 R. Right behind us, we have the Energica Ego. We're going to see how much this big dog weighs on the scale. All right, we got the S1000 off the scales, and next up, is the Energica Ego. Oh, just push.
pushing this bike around, it feels heavy as hell. believe this and it fills every bit of 645 pounds what 645 pounds oh that's that the, bike the, the... that is amazing 645 pounds for the energica ego and uh, of course most of that is comprised of the battery pack on the motorcycle but i tell you when you actually ride the bike you don't feel that weight once the bike is moving but uh pushing it around the parking lot like we just did it's heavy funny when the Ninja H2 is easier to push around than the Energica. Let's verify that it has a full tank of fuel and it does. You can see the full fuel swishing around. Yes, getting the cameraman wet. But the intercom wireless scales say that this motorcycle weighs 480 pounds today. So it's significantly lighter than the Energica Ego. And you notice that when you're pushing this thing around. Pretty cool. So 646 pounds, Corey. <laughs> what comprises all of that weight, man? It's a, it's a steel encased battery for protective, you know, protective reasons. Obviously, if you crash or whatever the case may be, you don't want any big explosions from battery acid and so on. So they they, they encase it in steel, and uh, they've had absolutely no issues with explosions. But it's, it's heavy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't feel it when you that. ride, though. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you you know, it's like gets up and goes, though, which is cool. You know, you notice a little bit when you get on the brakes, but that's about it. Yeah. So, as you can see, after a rain delay, we're finally able to uh, hit the road here for a little bit and ride the electric bike in the Ninja H2. Corey is on the uh, Energica, and I'm on the H2. Our good buddy, your fast life, is on my S1000 double R hanging out. Corey, you still there? I'm here. Ah, I'm here. loud and clear. No shifting at all. <laughs> oh yeah, no shifting, huh? Fully automatic, yep. That thing looks good, man. It is, it is, it looks good. Sharp. So it's got an adjustable engine braking, so you can actually adjust how, how quickly you want it to slow down. Oh really? And what do you, yep. what's your favorite setting for that? Um, I'm a smooth throttle kind of guy, so I, I like it to kind of roll a little bit more when I let off, especially yeah. on the street. You know? Okay, yeah. But I think on the track, I would probably want some more engine braking because it's so heavy, uh, just to help with the with the chassis. Yeah. And on the track right now, Corey, you're riding a ZX10 Double uh, R. Uh, yes. Nice. Yep. yep, yep. And how do you like that? I love it. Uh, we raced it a couple weeks ago at Road America, first time ever riding it, and I got on the podium. So it was, oh, nice! It was pretty good. Uh, I was pretty, pretty blown away because we just we took it off the showroom floor, and then in about two weeks we were racing it. Nice, dude! I love the way that thing sounds. <laughs> it's <laughs> Funny, like a, right? it's like a whining sound, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's the battery. It's got a little bit of regen on the on the deceleration too. I mean, not not a lot, but they say it does regenerate a little bit of power. Quick. Yeah, that thing can move. Yeah. It's funny though, because it's instant all the time. No matter, no matter if you're going 20 or 50, it's, when you walk it, it's the same power. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> that was in standard mode, now we're in sport. So. Okay. <laughs> quick. So I can I can play with all the modes on the fly. So like I just turned the engine braking to zero. So now it, now it doesn't really slow down as much. Oh okay. Yeah. I, I changed the power mode. So now I'm in I'm in the sport mode. So. Okay. Comes with three different modes, all different power levels. and then in. 
and then do live. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I will tell you this. I do feel the weight of this damn thing. I wasn't kidding. No. There is no clutch lever. <laughs> yeah. To start that up, you just pull it. There you go. Is this a GP or regular? Oh, uh, regular. Okay, he told me how to start this. Pull front brake to enable the bike. There we go. Oh, boy. That, did, <laughs> oh, that yeah. enabled it all right. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. How cool is that? Wow. So uh, the second thing that you notice when you jump on this bike is that it's missing a shift uh, lever. Your foot, your left foot instantly goes to try to shift something and it doesn't exist. <sighs> but cool, the riding position is very nice. It's comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable. Yeah. Wow. This just takes a little getting used to. Wow. And there's your reward for riding an electric bike. Instant torque just shoots you off like a rocket. Wow! Love the sound of this thing. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if you guys can hear this through the Cena, but it's like a like a, uh, like, like a whining I, cat. I can hear it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. So I just hit a big bump and uh, the suspension took it very nicely. It's love at first ride for sure. watching this video as I've enjoyed riding this electric motorcycle definitely and this guy wants more <laughs> it's definitely the future and you know you can't hear how quiet this bike is because we've got two loud motorcycles I'm riding with but it really is something special when you jump on a bike like this if you're energy conscious and you're conscious of the environment and you want to do something about the carbon footprint and all that cool stuff then this is a bike for you to have I mean if you are a special type of guy and you like to have unique things and you like the experience of 150 foot pounds of torque basically <laughs> at your fingertips then this is the bike for you if you're lazy you don't like shifting gears this is also the bike for you <laughs> yeah. if you like loud bikes like that one then that's the bike for you <laughs> Or the S1000 double R. All right, so now that I've ditched Corey and your fast life on their loud ass internal combustion machines, we can talk about how it really feels to ride a very quiet electric motorcycle. I won't say that this bike is silent because it's not. As you can hear, it does make a nice whoosh sound when you pin the, should I call it a throttle? I guess that's what it is. And this thing really, really, really scoots. No, it's not fast. 
faster than an NH2, or an S1000 RR, or probably a Triumph 675R even, but what you do get is exhilaration, believe it or not. Even though you don't hear anything, or much of anything, you get a great riding experience. There's just something special about riding this electric motorcycle. I'll tell you what it is, I think. The foot pegs are very similar, minus not really having anything there to shift. They're in a great position. For a tall six foot three guy like myself, it's great. The bike is really comfortable. The seat is back, pushed back nice and far. And the tank, it's got these little indents for your knees that you can find on a lot of modern motorcycles. Really nice. And when you look down at the cockpit of this thing, you see all the beautiful gloss carbon fiber. You gotta appreciate and respect and love that. And then, when you pin the so-called throttle, now we're talking about pure, unadulterated boyhood fun. around the bike, you feel the weight of the motorcycle. But then when you're riding it, all that goes away somehow. And you can switch back on the bike. Really easy. And take corners really nicely. You really don't miss a beat from riding an internal combustion motorcycle. You really don't. And I think that was the point of this thing, was to get people off those motorcycles onto something like this and for them not to say, hey, this sucks. I miss anything about the internal combustion motorcycle besides the loud noise. That's probably the only thing a person would say, is I miss the loud noise, the exhaust roar. Look at that. There is a BMW M6 which is where I got my name from. I used to own a bike, uh, a car very similar to that. It was a BMW 650i. And one of my good buddies tapped a magnetic B on the back of that automobile, and it became the 650e mobile. That's where I got my name from, folks. My car was almost that color. Had some really cool wheels and a dining exhaust. But that, that car right there is a bona fide classic. Oh, who wants to dance? Oh, he better be lucky! <laughs> oh, you big sucker! Come on! How dare you, you bigger! <laughs> That's real cool! I'm picking on the electric bike. Let me go back and get my S1000 double R. I'll teach you a lesson you will soon forget, my young friend. My tinted window can't see you, friend. <laughs> looking for something to auto blip down and uh, there is nothing to auto blip. This bike does not have gears. And as you can hear, it's whisper quiet. And I've got 39% battery. Hopefully that's enough to get me back to the dealership, eh? So Corey, I'm back from my ride on the Ego and I got smoked by an M6. Why the hell did that happen? <laughs> Those are, um, the bikes are actually limited to 150 mile per hour. Okay. Um, I think it's just a safety thing and they're capable of a lot more. It's electric, so it's really, it's infinite, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's faster the gears will let it spin, but yeah, there's a, there's a limiter on it, so. Oh, well. A, yeah, well, know, that you explains get the it. torque, you get that get up and go, <laughs> but you don't get the top end, which. No. They gotta, that's also because they got to maintain the battery, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you had the unlimited use, you become a battery real quick. And you'd be <laughs> stranded. Yeah, yeah, you'd be stranded, so. Cool. Yeah, and it's, you know, balancing that, that power versus, you know, usability. Okay. Well, yeah. thanks for letting me ride it, man. Yeah. It's cool hanging out with no you, worries. man. You're the best. Appreciate it. Looking forward to making more videos with you. Sounds good. Cool. So my final thoughts on the Energica Ego. Nice bike. Unique bike. Something definitely different. Would I own one? Eh, maybe. It's pretty unique. The fact that it makes an awesome sound and it has lots of carbon fiber. It's very comfortable. All that appeals to me, indeed. 
I really don't like that I got smoked by a car and an H2 and an S1000 double R. But, uh, you know, if I can wrap my head around that and deal with the fact that that happened, uh, I could see one of these bikes in my garage. All right, so if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, you better tap that bell and you'll be notified <laughs> when new content is uploaded. Yeah. Lots of folks have showed up here for the giveaway of that Yamaha R3 right there that we're about to happen here real soon. My good buddy, oh, there's my good buddy there. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and park this motorcycle and uh, thank you guys so much for viewing. We'll catch you next time on the 650EB YouTube channel.